Month away now from this year's Gulf Coast Challenge. There will be a week full of events leading up to the football game at Ladd People's Stadium between Alabama A&M and Jackson State, now coached by NFL legend Deion Sanders. WKRG News 5's Tiffany Gray live tonight at Ladd Stadium. And Tiffany, you spoke with organizers about what we can expect this year, and you're also looking at the economic impact this will have for the city. Yes, that's right. The Gulf Coast Challenge is on the horizon, and organizers tell me they expect this year's game to be one of the largest hosted at LAD. The countdown is on for the fifth annual Gulf Coast Challenge. We don't, we don't track to be a sellout. Um, the last game that Alabama a and and Jack State did both sold out, so I think it's going to be great. The historically black universities will be taking the field on November 12th, and there are a lot of events to look forward to leading up to game day. On Wednesday night, we have a free concert in the park, the kickoff concert with the uh, legendary artist John B. On Thursday, we have uh, corporate events like the uh, business networking reception where we, where we merge uh, HBCU community to corporate businesses to get a chance to mix and mingle and let's pass out some business cards. Let's see if we can do some businesses. Uh, on Friday, uh, we have a team luncheon that's going to be outstanding. Organizers expect this year's Gulf Coast Challenge to be one of the biggest the Port City has seen. We're real excited to have Coach Prime and Coach Maynard bringing, bringing their teams here and the alumni base, the fans, the passion. Uh, of of the uh, uh, the fans and friends of these two schools that follow these schools are really what we're tapping into and and we welcome them to come in and, and enjoy a three or four day period in Mobile. This game could potentially bring a major economic impact to Mobile. And if we get between 30 and 40,000 people in town for a weekend, I mean you're talking about uh, an eight to ten million dollar economic impact if uh, if we can verify that. So. Uh, with with the crowds that are following these two schools, especially Coach Prime and Jackson State, uh, as he's elevated the HBCU world, I mean, 40,000 is not out of the realm of possibility. And for a full list of events for this year's Gulf Coast Challenge, visit our website at WKRG.com. Live in Mobile, Tiffany Gray, WKRG News 5.